going to walk through a demo that was recently featured at the Dreamforce 11 conference that was entitled 6x60, where we showcased six different app exchange apps in the 60 minute time frame. Now these six different apps are varied between partners like Ringlead, DocuSign, Conga, and Exactly, as well as two from Salesforce Labs, SalesCoach, and uh, Google Chatter integration. So really the, the idea behind this demo is to start off with the, the idea of a prospect at a conference. This prospect may be talking to, uh, in this case, a, a new lead called uh, James, and James comes from a disaster recovery company called Damage Incorporated. Now they could obviously input this information directly into their iPhone, their Blackberry, but for the purposes of the demo, we're going to be showing a little bit of the deduplication that you can use with Ringley. So as a sales rep, I go into my Salesforce instance, and I'm going to go in to uh, declone this new lead that I've just discovered. So I'm going to go in and uh, put in his information and uh, all I really know about James is his name and his uh, email address. And as I enter this information, I can quickly check with Ringlead to see if this lead already exists. And it's important to bear in mind that these applications that I'm showing have much more functionality. This is just a sliver of what's available. After the demo, you can check below the screen and you'll be able to see a link to all of these partners on the App Exchange to find the full range of their capabilities. In this situation, it'll show me that actually not a lead, but a contact already exists for this person. I have the ability to either view the record that exists or I can enter this duplicate information. I'm gonna go ahead and just view the record that already exists for James and Ringlead will take me directly into that particular contact. So I can see that I, I'm dealing with James here, the account Damage Incorporated. Uh, obviously with Salesforce, we can go ahead with Jigsaw or data.com and cleanse that information and update. But I'll be able to see all of the relevant information. Now maybe there's a little bit more that I would like to do before I pick up the phone and follow up with, uh, with this contact. So I'm going to jump into the account and use a, uh, a second application. And this is really the integration between Chatter and the Google News Feed. Again, a simple application on the uh, Salesforce.com app exchange that allows you to go in and based on criteria that you select for this particular account, and traditionally that would just be the account name. In this case, I kept it wide open. We can now go in and look at the Chatter feed and get all of the updates directly from Google Alerts right into my chatter feed. So I can now speak from a very uh, intelligent level about what's happening with my customer. So now I've spoken with James, picked up the phone, called him, and really the next step I need to take is to go in and start to work with my opportunities. So I'm going to jump into an active opportunity that we're working on here with Damage Incorporated. And this particular opportunity uh, is going to uh, be able to show me all of the standard fields you would have with Salesforce, but of course, each individual company is going to have their own sales process they want to develop. Now, whether this is something structured like Miller Hyman or Solution Selling, or something that you would like to create on your own, Salesforce.com Labs created the Sales Coach application. So before I want to launch into this opportunity, simply click on Sales Coach, and based on the stage that I'm in, in this case, uh, we're in the stage of prospecting, I'm going to be able to see the activities that we need to take to move to the next stages. So we need to uncover customer pains, send collateral, determine de uh, decision makers. I'll be able to uh, set up different uh, areas where we can go into that content. What kinds of discovery questions? What are our next steps? I can link right into perhaps a content pack that I would like to deliver out to my customer by using the salesforce.com uh, content delivery. So we have our uh, sales pack. I can browse through, of course, the different uh, pieces of collateral that are in this uh, package, and then go ahead and deliver the content directly out. And each one of these stages is really going to reflect your own processes. So if I jump from, say, prospecting to needs analysis, I'm going to have a whole different set of um, activities that need to take place. A really nice and simple point and click uh, customization that you can add to your instance of Salesforce to increase the sales productivity. So once I've gone through the various steps that I need within the opportunity, I may be ready to go ahead and figure out, well, how much are we going to, uh, to charge the customer? And I can see currently that the amount of this opportunity is 49,000 
And by using the exactly express product, I can go in and actually determine how much commission based on my plan I'm going to get for this opportunity. So I'm going to uh, click the, uh, the show me the money button and I'll be able to determine how much I'm going to make for this opportunity. And it looks like I'm going to be making about $4,400 in commission. But of course, the customer may want to talk about a little bit of discounting. I know that I have a certain range that I can discount in. So I'm going to go into my products and we'll just say, for example, that they want a, a discount on their, uh, uh, you know, the, the consulting. So we'll go ahead and maybe modify this and say, all right, instead of 980 bucks, what will it cost if I just drop that price to 500? So when I save that information on the product, I'll be able to click the uh, exactly express button again and get a determination of exactly how much it will cost me to discount this much. So now I'll rerun that estimate and instead of $4,400, we're going to see the uh, updated amount. I'm going to lose about $400 by discounting. But to me, that's acceptable. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and go ahead with the, uh, the proposal that I'll send out to my customer. We're going to come back to exactly in a moment. But I'm going to jump into the idea of sending out these documents and getting away from the old fax machines, the um, you know, emailing out of a contract, and do all of this digitally. So the first step is we're going to use Conga Proposal to create this proposal for our customer. Now, of course, Conga will take all of the merge fields that you are familiar with in Salesforce, but it goes a few steps beyond. Not only can you go and merge into a Word document, but you can merge into a PDF, PowerPoint, Excel documents, and really determine the kinds of um, merge documents you'd like to create. In this situation, we're just going to create a basic template into a PDF. I'm going to uh, see the contact that I'm sending this out to, and the integration with DocuSign is very complete. So I can now take this proposal, and I can use DocuSign to generate a proposal that we can then have signed electronically. Now bear in mind with Conga Composer, they also do go quite a bit beyond just this uh, plain merging on the opportunity. You can use any object in Salesforce to merge to. So now that we're ready to uh, send this out with DocuSign, I'm able to have a look at the document I'm sending out. I know exactly who it's being sent to. I can set up multiple roles of signees. I'll see all of the information on the email message as well as the envelope settings, setting up reminders, being able to perhaps void this after a certain amount of time. So now I'm ready to go ahead and send that out to my customer. So I'm ready to have this signed by uh, James and bear in mind, the signing process can be done on an iPad, it can be done on really any computer. And we're going to be doing this right here on the, uh, on the computer. But when I uh, did the demo at Dreamforce, all of this was done on the iPad. So you'll notice up here in my Gmail inbox that I do have a document that needs to be signed. So I can now go in, review this document, and start the signing process. So first and foremost, I'm going to agree to do business, and I'd like to review that document. The next step is going to be adopting my signature. And in this particular situation, uh, on, the, uh, on the PC or your Mac, really it's uh, completely platform neutral, I can determine how I would like to initial this and I can adopt various different signatures that are suggested by DocuSign or I can even go in and write my own signature as well if I want to customize this. So we'll just adopt this, uh, the signature as it's given to me. I can initial, it'll take me to the next step where I can initial that and I confirm my signing. So now I've reviewed my document, I've signed this, and we're going to send that back out to uh, Salesforce. Once I've completed that step, we'll just uh, close out of the, uh, the DocuSign window. And when I go back into my uh, inbox, I'll be able to see that I have in fact signed this. I have the return receipt from DocuSign showing me that I've signed this document. So now when we go back into the, uh, the opportunity itself and we'll refresh that information, I'm going to be able to see uh, any other documents that I have sent out. I'll be able to uh, view the status of that document. And in this particular case, I can see that there were two that were sent out and they were both completed 
Uh, in fact, this one was uh, was just completed this morning, and really, it took uh, almost no time for that to go out, be signed by my customer, and returned. In fact, about 98% of documents that are sent out uh, via electronic signing means are returned within 48 hours, a drastic improvement on uh, the traditional faxing. So now that I've uh, seen the, uh, the update, I've sent that out to my customer, my next step is really to have a look and see how this is going to uh, impact me from my bottom line. So I'm going to go into Exactly Express's dashboard and it will show me the various different criteria that I've set for myself. And in this situation here, I've set up a, uh, a commission structure for myself where I'm going to track my product sales versus quota, my quarterly results, how I stack rank. I can even go in to have a look at uh, how I've been paid for all of my uh, deals that I've been closing and be able to see not only those opportunities themselves, but also the amount that I'm being compensated for. Again, this is really just scratching the surface of what exactly will offer, and it goes far beyond just the Express product as well. So I'll see how much I've earned per, uh, per product, per opportunity, and then I can simply log back into uh, Salesforce and perhaps view my individual dashboards, my pipeline, my percent to quota. So a very quick walkthrough of six different applications that can make your life a lot easier from Ringlead going far beyond just checking those individual leads that we enter, but going into data cleansing, going into mass deduping on lists that you're importing, being able to use the uh, sales coach and the Google chatter from Salesforce Labs, being able to look into uh, DocuSign and Conga Merge, and of course, tying it all in with Exactly Express. For more information on those applications, please see below this video. Thank you.